This animation provides the steps for installing Rockwool Comfort Board 80 on a typical wood framed and sheathed wall with a flanged window. Begin by positioning a starter apron of a water resistive barrier or WRB over top of the sheathing at the rough window opening extending 6 inches wider than and 6 inches higher than the sill. Next, install a self-adhered sill membrane extending up the jams and onto the face of the wall. Place an optional second self-adhered membrane to help ensure water is diverted to the exterior side of the insulation and not between the insulation and WRB. Seal all corners susceptible to moisture intrusion with additional self-adhered membrane as needed. Install WRB material at the jams and head of the rough opening, sealing all leading edges and ensuring positive shingle lapping over all layers. Attach the window to the wall per the window manufacturer's specifications. To ensure air barrier continuity throughout the wall assembly, use backer rod where necessary and seal around all four interior sides of the window. Install sheathing tape along the jams of the window frame and extend to the face of the wall. Install metal flashing at the head of the window. Seal the leading edge of the flashing with sheathing tape. Finish installing the WRB, ensuring positive shingle laps and sealing all leading edges with sheathing tape. Attach bug screens, leaving enough available to wrap around the insulation after it is installed. Install the bottom course of Comfort Board 80, layered horizontally using one to two fasteners per board. Fasteners should extend into the sheathing behind the insulation with two inch or larger washers to hold the insulation temporarily in place. Install one by four furring strips over the Comfort Board 80. The furring strips should go all the way up to the roof line. The furring strips should attach through the first layer of insulation into the studs behind the sheathing spaced evenly along the wall in line with the studs 16 or 24 inches on center. For ease of install, studs should be marked on the WRB to use when installing furring strips on the wall. Using a serrated knife, cut the comfort board 80 boards as needed to fit around the window and flashing securing the boards along the sides of the window with additional furring strips as needed. Slide the next course of Comfort Board 80 behind the furring strips, working up the wall, securing the furring strips through the insulation as it is installed. Fastener requirements may vary based on cladding type, sheathing, insulation thickness, and stud spacing. Measure and cut a piece of Comfort Board 80 at the window head. Divide the piece by sawing it into two parts with a 15 degree cut. Save the top piece for future use. Slide the bottom piece into place. Attach drip flashing. Apply a self-adhesive membrane to the WRB over the top of the Comfort Board 80 and onto the face of the drip flashing. Apply a bead of sealant to the top edge of the self-adhesive membrane. Slide the top piece of Comfort Board 80, saved from earlier, into place. Secure 1x4 strapping below and above the drip flashing. Finish installing Comfort Board 80 up the entire wall, ensuring to attach a bug screen at the top of the wall, underneath the insulation layer with enough overhang to wrap around the insulation layer after installed. Extend the optional second sill membrane out over the face of the Comfort Board 80 at the base of the window. Install pre-finished metal sill flashing according to the window manufacturer's specifications. Seal the gap between the flashing and the sill with sealant. Assemble the window trim boards and attach to the wall. Finish installing the remaining cladding. Complete the installation by applying sealant along the top and sides where the window frame and trim boards meet. Visit rockwool.com for more installation details.